Hey everybody, it's Clay Knight here, and uh, I'm going to do a shave today. This is the first shave I've ever done on camera. I am not a YouTuber or any kind of a professional video maker of any kind, and so I'm active on several Facebook groups for wet shaving, and I've ma made some friends in those groups, and I decided I would do a shave video just to show what I do and uh, since I enjoy this hobby I'll go ahead and do that and uh, I'll let you know everything that I'm using. Today I'm going to start out with some ice tube from PAA, uh, Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. Uh, I'm sorry everything is going to be backwards because I'm using my front facing camera but this is the mentholated ice tube pre-shave. I also have some mentholated star jelly prickly pear pre-shave, which I like a lot. Um, I am going to be using Dapper Docs soap today. This is the CK1 formula. Uh, fantastic soap. CK6 is great, but I also love the CK1 formula. Um, so I'm going to use that today. It's a really good scent lilac and fig it's a little sweet a little floral um, perfectly mixed and balanced i really enjoy it i have the matching splash as well as the matching star jelly aftershave i love the star jelly aftershave i use it with every single shave i have a scentless version which i use with all of my sets that I don't have the matching star jelly, but I happen to have the matching star jelly for Dapper Docs because I like it a lot. Uh, for my razor today, the Ascension Select. Uh, this has a second use Rapira Platinum Lux blade. That is these blades here. So that's what I'll be using. And for my brush, which I've had soaking for a few minutes, is my Maritime Brush Co. Hybrid Burl and Resin Brush. Fantastic brush. Beautiful silver tip badger knot. Just an absolutely great brush. Love this brush. I scooped my soap using this cool little deal here called a Snurdle Dipper. The term is coined by Glenn Mercurio, who made this and sent it to me. Uh, I'm very thankful that he did so because I was using a guitar pick, which, yes, it works. This is by far a superior tool. I love it. I use it all the time, every day. Uh, when I shave, I scoop my soap using this guy right here. Uh, works fantastic. So I scooped soap out of the tub. You can see the scoop lines. I loaded it into this scuttle, which I won't be lathering in. I typically face lather, but I use the scuttle to load since I like to scoop my soaps these days. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Not a soaking wet brush, just enough water that's going to help soften up the soap and let me load the brush up. I'm not trying to really build too much lather here in the in the scuttle so I like the brush to be dry enough that it just sort of scrapes up all the soap and loads the brush up really well um, obviously a little bit of lather gets built but not a finished lather or all of the soap is built into a lather so I do that and Sometimes I'll spend a little more time doing this. Um, I typically do face and head together at the same time. Today I'm just going to do the face on camera because otherwise this video would end up being 45 minutes long because I like to take my time, especially on the head shave so I don't nick any moles or anything that I have on my head. But there we go. That's probably enough. I've got my Moonscape brush scuttle with ice water in it. You can see it's sweating a little because it's got ice water in it. Uh, brush loaded up. So 
I'll start with some water. I took a hot shower before this, but got to wet the face still. Typically, I'm not wearing a shirt, but I will wear a shirt for you guys today because nobody wants to see that. So I'll apply just a, a light amount of the ice tube. Not a lot, just enough. I like the menthol. And then I typically take some star jelly, prickly pear pre-shave. And I like to apply that to my neck because that's my sensitive area where I have trouble sometimes. And so we will throw some on. Rinse the hands because that stuff is supremely slick. And it's time to build a ladder. So, I'm gonna get some soap on there. This is kind of a trial run video for me. I said I'd try to do a I was challenged to a red, white, and blue shave for 4th of July by Adam Wilson. And I said I would try and do that. Uh, his channel is, if I'm... Oh, shoot, I can't remember. I will, uh, I will link his channel, or at least put the name of his channel, in the description. So we need some water there. And we're going to build the lather. Quickly forms a nice thick lather. You know, people say CK6 is thirsty. Well, CK1 can take a fair amount of water too. Uh, maybe not quite as much as CK6, but I still find that I prefer my lather less thick and like, cr like less peaks and more a little bit slick, creamy yogurt. Really get that razor to glide. So I get best shaves when the lather's not too thick. I think that ought to do it. So I shave daily. Uh, I typically go maybe two or three passes. I'm gonna go first pass kind of across the grain and for me that's this way and this way. So we're gonna start out like that. Do this side. That's some pretty funky growth pattern. For my beard, especially on the neck, but on the face it grows this way and then kind of this way. It's got a swoop to it. Um, all will get all together it kind of goes this direction so across the grain is going to be kind of a downward on the neck and the chin Of course, got to be careful not to nick the mustache, the signature mustache. This ascension is uh, 
just such a fantastic razor. The head geometry on it just makes finding the exact right angle super intuitive and easy. Just phenomenal shaver. One of my favorites. I have all of the Ascension razors. The Select, the Stainless, the Copper, and the Aluminum. And they're all great razors. They all have some slight differences because of either weight or handle. But the head geometry is the same on all of them. So, that's one pass down. You know, it, uh, it takes me two or three passes at least usually to get a good shave in because of so many different directions my hair goes. I got a big cowlick over here, got a big giant wave over here, so you'll see me do some buffing here in a minute to try and pick up all the stubble that's going in different directions. So I just kind of paint it on. It's thick right now. I'm going to add some water. Mm, smells good. Love this soap. Scent strength on this soap is uh, not super strong. It's kind of like a low medium, maybe like a uh, like a four, I'd say, out of ten. Uh, so it's pretty subtle. It's not like in your face loud. The splash is much stronger in scent, but it's very pleasurable. Um, enjoy this soap a lot. It's strong enough that you that you smell it for sure and enjoy it, but not so strong that you're gonna get a headache from it or anything, or burn your face. You don't get any fragrance burn here. So now I'm gonna go against the grain, and so I'll do a second pass against the grain, and then like a third pass is just gonna kind of be all over the place. The Ascension razors are great for buffing because the, the double open comb just allows the lather to really build up in there and then you get a good residual slickness. Yeah, so I got some crazy growth patterns. So you'll see me go in like five different directions. Alright, feels pretty darn good. Now the neck, this is the problem area. This is the area where I have the most trouble. I try to up and stretch the skin down and get a good taut skin so I can really get uh, a close shave without a bunch of irritation. Sometimes I'll get a weeper going on here because it's just difficult to get the uh, against the grain with the angles of my face and the odd growth patterns I have. And you can even see just the tiniest little weeper right there on my chin. I mean, it's tiny, but it's there.
The jawline area is always a pain. Takes some work to get, especially over here. I think I gotta go kind of diagonal, and then this way, and then down, sideways. I'm going to kind of do this little crisscross pattern right here on my neck because I got this crazy cowlick. Literally a circle of growth right there. And if I don't go in basically every single direction, it's impossible to get it smooth. And I'm a sucker for a BBS shave. I love that smooth feel after a shave. I just don't feel like I accomplished a good shave unless I get that super smooth feeling. I know some guys are just DFS, darn fine shave and call it a night, but for me that usually doesn't cut it. I do chase it sometimes. I try not to. If it starts to get irritated, I have to stop. See, like right here, problem area. So I got quite a bit of stubble feel there still. But this side's good. Little here, little there. Just the tiniest bit around here. So it's two passes almost done, but we're gonna have to do another pickup pass here on this area, which is typical for me. So I know I got the cowlick on the other side of my neck, which for whatever reason, even though I got it going every direction, I can get that BBS pretty much every time, no problem. This side, for whatever reason, it's got a big wave and it's just difficult. It doesn't cooperate. So try to pick up the rest of this. Light pressure. Almost just, you know, barely, barely pushing it all, just letting the, the razor glide across. I don't know if you can hear the feedback or not, but it's there. And then I'm going to get this little spot on my neck right here. Jawline again, try not to open any weepers. That's pretty darn good. One little spot right there. Smooth. Done. So it wasn't even a full three pass, two and like a half. So now we're gonna rinse. And wipe off. I like just the tiny bit of soap left as I wipe just because I feel like that soap is so good. It has so many good ingredients. Get that post shave feel from it. Uh, but get the old face dried off so I can apply my post shave gear. Of course gotta keep the stash trained. Post shave, star jelly. Yep. And just, this is the way I do it. I go star jelly first. I rub that in real good because it feels so good. Get just a little bit of alcohol in there. So you do feel a little sting if there's any irritation, which there really wasn't here. 
This is a great shave. Uh, get that on there. Give the old hands a quick rinse. And then kind of let it dry for just a few seconds. Well, you can see I got one little tiny weeper right there. You see that? Aside from that, and that came out pretty good. Maybe one tiny one there. It's the tiniest little. They're like little pinhole weepers. Uh, didn't even feel them when I was shaving. So then we got the splash. And this is, you know, Douglas's, Douglas Smythe uh, is just a scent wizard. He creates these aftershave splashes that are aftershave colognes. They have lasting scent strength uh, without, like, causing, you know, scent burn or anything after a shave uh, obviously you probably wouldn't go and spray like a edp on your freshly shaven skin but somehow this stuff feels great leaves your skin feeling super happy and just has fantastic staying power on the scent in fact sometimes i'll decant a little bit of this into an atomizer and carry it around with me if I feel like refreshing throughout the day I'll just spray my pulse points and refresh the scent and uh, I'll even rub a little on my arms because it just smells so darn good and that's it fantastic shave uh, for the first shave on camera it went great I'm happy to uh, have shared it with you and uh, you know I hope you enjoyed it be blessed be well, be kind, and uh, maybe I'll see you again.